Hello, this is John Clark, and as I promised, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build a guitar cam that you can fit on your guitar. Uh, this is the same guitar cam uh, design that I used for a lot of my recent videos. Um, it's very simple. You just need three pieces of wood and when I bought these it was originally a single piece and I just did the cuts and and then uh, you need two drill bits uh, a quarter inch drill bit to drill the holes these holes here and then a smaller drill bit to drill out the screw holes uh, here here and here and here. So you have uh, three pieces, one long piece with a screw hole at the end and then small screw holes at this end and also at this end. And then you need uh, corner braces, two corner braces and three wing nuts. Uh, three bolts and one of those is missing, let me pull a bolt from this guy here so three wing nuts, three bolts and six screws to screw in the corner braces and that's pretty much all you need um, to get this guitar cam going so I'll go ahead and put it together uh, first thing I'm going to do is attach the corner braces and so two of these pieces uh, that make a right angle and then we screw on the corner brace like this I'll go and put these all the screw holes into the pre-drilled holes the screws go on just like that and I'll take my power drill and drill that in okay make sure that's tight, nice and tight and then I go to the other side do the same thing on the other side except I'm missing a couple screws here well imagine that there's two more screws probably fell on the floor somewhere okay let's go screw these in like that, screw this in make this a little bit tighter Okay, that's pretty rigid. It should be as tight as you can get it. This joint here should be really firm and tight so it doesn't wobble. Okay. And uh, the next step, uh, this is the vise that clamps onto the headstock. So I'm going to take a couple of these bolts put it through the holes and then put on the wing nuts and as you can see this thing is almost ready to go that quickly very simple and the next step is uh, the camera bolt and this is the camera bolt at the end here uh, so with the camera bolt, you know, when you're storing it, you can just put the wing, wing nut like this. When you're not using it on your guitar, you can store it like that. And that's the whole thing. This is the entire camera mount. That's all it is. Uh, so, to mount a camera, I reverse the wing nut. So this is the normal way it goes on. To, to put the camera on, I'm going to reverse the wing nut like that and then put it through this hole 
Okay, so this bolt is um, the standard size uh, bolt that fits into a camera. So when you go to the hardware store to pick up one of these bolts, you bring a camera with you. I have two different cameras here. This is a ZI-8. This is the camera that I use uh, a lot when I take it out to gigs because it's really light. Uh, and this is my older camera that I did a lot of my first videos. My very first videos on YouTube, I used this camera here. Both cameras will fit on the guitar mount, the camera guitar mount, or guitar cam as I like to call it. And so there, so I use the wing nut. Once I screw this bolt all the way into the camera, you know, I have some slack here. I want to pull the camera tight, so I turn that wing nut and get it tight in there. Okay? So the very next step, basically that's it, the next step is to put it on to the guitar. So there's a, a guitar, now this is a classical guitar, I think it, this should work on most classical guitars. Um, you might want to uh, take care not to ruin the finish. I'm not really, I don't really care about ruining the finish so much. Um, to me, it's, it's the functionality of the guitar that's more important than how it looks. Uh, but if it's an issue for you, you could probably put some, maybe some, you can line the, the clamp there with uh, some rubber sheeting or something. But basically this is how it goes on. I'm going to flip it this way because I usually like to, yeah, I like to have the cam on the bottom. So the cam, the seat clamp just fits onto the headstock, the end of the headstock, just like that. And I designed it so that it creates equal, very high equal pressure across the whole top of the headstock and this is important that it's equal so it doesn't leave any marks. I haven't I haven't noticed any damage from uh, to the finish so far in using these um, and I think that's because the pressure is very even. Um, I'll turn it to the side you can see how it it's just a vise that fits on to the end of the headstock there. Okay, and that's basically it. Now this camera is ready to go, and I can angle it. I can angle the camera a little bit, like that, and I can get the right angle that I want of the fretboard. And I can also, uh, I made this so that there's a little bit of room on either side, so that I can um, scoot it left and right. I'll show you that. So maybe maybe I want the center of the camera, so I push that a little bit more that way, so the camera is more centered with the headstock and the fretboard. Then I screw these in, tighten them up, and that's pretty much it. So that's the guitar cam mount. Uh, materials, you know, the cost is pretty low to build this. If you don't feel like building one yourself, you can go over to my website, johnclarkmusic.com slash guitarcam, and I'll make one for you myself.